Hi, good morning, everyone. In today's class, we are going to go ahead and do a very important chapter, which is linear programming. But we have already gone ahead and talked about constraint optimization in the last chapter. What is constraint optimization? Constraint optimization is when you want to go ahead and maximize or minimize your objective function but it is subject to some constraint there is some constraint in your hand so for example when you want to go ahead and you want to maximize your utility subject to your budget constraint or when you want to go ahead and you want to minimize your cost subject to the given level of output. So subject to your production function. So whenever you want to go ahead and whenever you want to maximize or minimize subject to some constraint in hand, that is called as constraint optimization. Now, when we talk about constraint optimization, there are two kind of constraints that you can see. But if one are one is called an equality constraint. Equality matlab ki, if I ask you, okay, maximize your utility subject to Px into x plus Py into y is equal to in income, subject to your budget line. This is an equality constraint. In this equality constraint, the best thing to do will be to go ahead and use the Lagrange. But sometimes you also have unequal constraints or inequality constraints. Like for example, if I take the same function, I tell you maximize your utility function subject to Px into x plus Py into y less than equal to income. And at the same time, I go ahead and I tell you x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. So if I go ahead and I give you such constraints, I give you an inequality constraint. Then in such cases where you have inequal constraints, the best thing that can be done is that you go ahead and you do linear programming. So linear programming as a graphical approach is very, very important. Bohat hi kaam ki cheez hai, especially when you have inequality constraints. So this is what it is written. That sometimes we have inequality sign in the constraint function. And in such cases, we will go ahead and we will use linear programming. Take it up. Now just think about this. Huh? So here what I have done is I have written a function z. This z can be called as an objective function and this z can also in linear programming language be called as a criteria function. Do no you can say objective function bhi bol sakte, criteria function. Bhi bol sakte. So z is an objective function or a criteria function and it is written as c1 x1 plus c2 x2. So from here, if you can see, suppose I want to maximize z. Agar mujhe z ko maximize karna hai, as you can clearly see, there are two decision variables that are involved in this equation. The first decision variable that I have is x1 and the second decision variable that I have is x2. As x1 and x2 will vary, jaise jaise ye upar ya niche jayenge, accordingly the value of z will vary, accordingly wo bhi upar ya niche jayega. So z is going to go ahead and vary as x1 and x2 are going to change. So but x1, x2s hain, these x1, x2s, these are called as your decision variable. Aapko ye decide karna hai ki inki kya best value ho sakte hai. What is going to be their optimal value? That is what you want to go ahead and decide. But this is subject to m constraints. Constraints mane kya? What? So... I want to I want to go ahead and I want to maximize or minimize this function, but the values of x's that I will get, jo bhi x ki value aegi, jo bhi isko maximize ya minimize karegi, 
दैट मस्ट सैटिस्फाई दीज कंस्ट्रेंट उसको ये कंस्ट्रेंट्स को सैटिस्फाई करना जरूरी है सो यू सी ईच कंस्ट्रेंट इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू है कि नहीं ईच कंस्ट्रेंट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू बट हाउ मेनी कंस्ट्रेंट आर देर वन टू थ्री फोर सो ऑन टिल एम सो देर आर दीज एम कंस्ट्रेंट दैट यू है राइट बेटा एंड ईच कंस्ट्रेंट शुड बी सैटिस्फाइड हर कंस्ट्रेंट में जो भी एक्स वन एक्स टू मेरा ऑप्टिमा निकल के आएगा इट मस्ट सैटिस्फाई दीज कंस्ट्रेंट एट द सेम टाइम दिस इज अ नॉन नेगेटिविटी कंस्ट्रेंट विच से शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स टू शुड ऑल्सो बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो मतलब दे शुड बी नॉन नेगेटिव दे शुड नॉट बी नेगेटिव राइट बेटा Okay, now let's take an example. This is the first example that is given in the book. 